being present with one another in the midst of suffering is really, really important. A grieving community gathered Sunday night at Stowe City Hall to honor the life of Megan Kellerman, a 25-year-old woman from Stowe who was gunned down in a Taco Bell restaurant drive through on August 14th. Father, we are hurting. We are sad. According to Stowe Police, 53-year-old Jason Williams of Cuyahoga Falls terrorized Kellerman before shooting her. He then turned the gun on himself. More than 300 people showed up to support Kellerman's loved ones. Many moved to tears throughout the vigil. Pastor Coltani of Riverwood Community Chapel in Kent will be delivering Kellerman's funeral service on Thursday. He says this vigil is so important to show love and support for all that knew Kellerman. The presence of being with one another is really important. And so that's why the mayor saw it to be important to gather the community. And so we want to come alongside of the community and the family and, and start walking down this journey of grief. The mayor of Stowe says we may never know why this senseless act of violence happened, but it's more important right now to support Megan's loved ones during this difficult time. I know we can't make sense of this senseless tragedy but we can let her see us looking down from heaven and how much we love and we miss her. Dozens of community members may have not known Kellerman, but people like Tom Lilly say they felt compelled to be there. It's amazing that this many people came together to, to show support and uh, Stowe, Stowe is a great community of, of uh, loving people. And, and we just need to we just need to love each other and, and show Christ to each other. The Kellerman family is still asking for privacy during this extremely difficult time. While her life may never be replaced, it's clear that the 25 year old touched the lives of so many. The life is radically short. Where do you find the hope of this life? And the hope is only found in the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Stowe, Tino Bovenzi. Fox 8 News.